Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day. Well, looks like the RX 5700s or even the 5700 XTs are going to be the best, most efficient GPUs for mining Ethereum now because of the latest Team Red Miner as they have now enabled something called the R mode. And I've done the numbers, which I do want to go through in this video that makes the 5700s now the second best most efficient gpu for mining ethereum and of course we all know that ethereum is going to be moving away to proof of stake could be in the next couple months here could be in the next year who knows so that makes the proposition value proposition of these 5700s good or bad not quite sure because i do want to talk about that in later on in this video regarding you know mining other algorithms uh, with these gpus but Anyways, guys, before I begin, I do want to show you guys my Radeon 7s and other stuff as well. It looks like that rig just crashed because I'm in the middle of fine-tuning it. But let's go through. Before I begin, this video is sponsored by NerdGears.com. If you guys are interested in graphics cards, if you guys are interested in power supplies or 240 volt, 30 amp power distribution units, PDUs, they have them in stock here. This is a very popular product. I know a lot of people have been asking and now they have them back in stock. So nerdgears.com, guys, use offer code REDPANPAN for 2% off your whole order. All right, guys. So Team Red Miner has basically gotten me to be able to get better hash rates and just better efficiency now amongst all of my 5700 AMD cards. And kind of like my Radeon 7s as well. But I'm, I'm having a bit of a... A tuning issue with these it's going to take a bit to really go through and fine-tune all these gpus i'm still in the process of doing that but i can get now theoretically almost pretty much 100 mega hash on my radeon 7s okay as you guys can see here and also i will talk about my 6700 6700 xt 6800 which i didn't really notice that much of a difference but yeah my 5700s i'm, I'm gonna say are the biggest difference in terms of the power consumption that has dropped significantly compared to my uh, the settings that I had before. My 5700 rig used to take over a thousand watts. Now it's about 914 watts with eight of these 5700s. You can see in the software here, normally it would say sometimes over a hundred watts, you know, 97, 98, 105 watts. Now it's like 77, 89, 75, 77. We've got silicon lottery issues here. Uh, with a few of these gpus but i'm getting pretty much a little bit i'm getting a little bit higher mega hash now but th yeah the power efficiency the efficiency of these gpus which i was able to bring down the core now to 1025 i used to have i think 1350 or 1250 which that's why it brought the power uh power uh consumption down is because of the core we were able to bring it down now and team red miner has magically figured that out and so I want to go through here our mode effect on various gpus this is on the github for team red miner i'll have this link down below i highly recommend everyone read this for those that have you know 5700s radeon 7s uh, 5700 xts i think 5600 xts are a big difference I, I don't have any 5600 xts i wish i did but uh they just said here given the above our mode is much improved version of our older b mode for vegas and navis and C mode for Radeon 7s, uh, MI50, MI60, MI100s. I don't think I've, I think I've tested these cards before, but uh, I don't remember. Note that the R mode is only available for big knobbies without incurring a hash rate penalty, which is awesome. Okay, so let's go through here just real quick, and then I'll show you guys how to get this set up if you are interested. If you're using Hive OS, I don't have a Windows rig with uh, AMD cards, so I can't show you guys any Windows. I'm sorry. But uh, I'll show you guys in HiveOS how to set this up. So, but first, the effect, R mode effect on various GPUs. So they say here the 6900 XT, 6800 XT, and 6800, there is a small power save of about 2 to 3 watts by lowering the core clock. Uh, might not be worth the effort. 6700 XT, good effect. 1000 megahertz core, enough for uh, 1075 megahertz mem clock. All right, that's, that's pretty good. 6600 XT, our tests have indicated there's no real point in using it but we're waiting for more user feedback. I tested all of my 6600 XTs and I didn't see any difference at all. So yeah, that didn't seem to work, but maybe they're gonna have some new version out in the coming days, coming weeks, who knows. 5700 XT, 5700. All right, so they say here, big winner. 
core clock of 1050 to 1075 megahertz is now enough to sustain 56 mega hash can almost always run at sub 700 millivolts core voltage and so i'll show you guys here my 5700s right here are my overclocks that i'm using on all my 5700s that have i have a few samsung and a few micron memory 5700s mind you these ones are time uh these have different timings uh basically bios modded thank you to one of my mods on discord crypto peasant if you guys need help he is on my discord he, he takes a little fee to help you guys out if you guys are interested but you can see here right depending on silicon lottery i've had to change some uh, core voltage numbers here just to fine tune them uh, sometimes they crashed memory voltage 800 mem clock 900 memory voltage 1300 amongst all of them and uh soc frequency 950 okay so these are the numbers that are in i'm using for hive os for these gpus in order to get 55 mega hash they did claim though 56 mega hash but uh this is the best i can get i'm sure you can get 56 or 57 mega hash on the 5700 xts which is which is pretty cool anyways going along 5600 xt they said here team red miner says big winner core clock 950 megahertz supports 42 mega hash core voltage can be dropped low wow not core clock on 19 950 that's that's really low so that means the power consumption of the 5600 xt must be i don't know pretty low i wish i had one to test so that i could actually do a comparison against the efficiency amongst amongst other gpus i'm sure uh, you guys can let me know in the comments below if you have a 5600 xt let me know what you can get and your wattage numbers now radeon 7 family solid win hash rate restored to original c mode levels and slightly more average boost is two to three mega hash per gpu and uh, i'll show you guys that right now so here's my radeon 7s let's see if it crashed nope so i'm getting 99 100 mega hash now uh, looks like my Samsung memory Radeon 7s with HBM2, they're, they're not doing that great. Um, but here are my settings here. You guys can free, freeze frame this for anyone that has Radeon 7s. Uh, plus, we are also doing the uh, AMD uh, mem tweak. Okay, this is very important to have. And there is a doc here, like a readme on how to do this. Okay, I'll have this link down below for those that have Radeon 7s and want to do that type of tuning. Uh, there are certain, you know, memory tweaks you can use, but uh, freeze frame this. I'll have it here as well. Here you can just see what settings are being used for my Hynix memory Radeon 7s and my Samsung. Uh, my Samsung ones are 2 and 3 here, and then my Hynix ones are uh, 0, 1, 4, and 5 on my Hive OS rig here. Okay, so I uh, still have to fine tune. I am getting some some issues of it being dead and uh yeah it looks like it might have just died again but that's okay so anyways going back to team red miner uh vega 56 or 64s i don't have any of these anymore i kind of wish i kept them a small hash rate boost or power save from being able to use lower core clock for 51 to 52 mega hash at a core clock of 925 to 950 is often enough that's awesome okay so for those wanting to do this and those that uh, want to enable the uh, AMD, uh, sorry, the new Team Red Miner R mode. All right, so the, I'll show you guys what I did here. So I have just of uh, my 5700 rig here. So in order to enable Team Red Miner, you need to make a flight sheet with, you know, Ethereum, your Ethereum address, your Ethermine pool, which actually doesn't matter because you're gonna have to do a custom miner anyway. So when you go to miner, uh, type in custom, like C-U-S-T-O-M in here, and it should come up. Press on that, and then you have to click on Setup Miner Config. This is important now. This is where you're going to have to put the installation URL for the 0.9.4.7 uh, beta. Okay. And I just realized I read off the 0.9.4.2, and uh, they don't have the beta version on here. Oh, there we go. Sorry, the beta version's here. Okay, here we go. In the front here. So uh, public beta release is only available through the download links below. I realized I was just reading the wrong thing here. So... Here we go, Linux, you can download for Linux and Windows and HiveOS custom minor package. So this is the one that I'm using, the minor package. I did try to use the regular one here, um, but that didn't seem to work uh, to get my, uh, to get the R mode to work. Okay, so the R mode was working with this HiveOS package. And uh, simply going back to the custom config here, uh, ETHash, right, wallet, worker name, stratum. This is where you put your minor pool. Uh, the mining pool that you want to mine on and the extra configure arguments this is really important you got to have this 
right here in the extra config arguments. They also mentioned that in the enabling the R mode here, uh, you're going to have to add this into your Hive OS. And there are other parameters you can use here. Set no specific mode, old Radeon 7 mo C mode, new R mode, uh, RN, RC, RR. You can see the definitions here, but we're using RR even for my Radeon 7s as well. Okay, here's my Radeon 7 rig. It's using the RR uh, batch file command uh, as well. Okay, so... That's how you do it. You apply changes, update, and it should start downloading. It may take a while, but uh, Hive OS is a little bit slow these days. And it should be good to go. Looks like my 5700 rig also died. Okay, so there's still a bit of fine tuning here that needs to be done on my 5700s. Like GPU zero detected dead. So uh, AMD cards, I swear, there's, there's always going to be some tuning going on and it's never perfect. That's what that's what I figured out, and uh, it looks like I'm just gonna have to add some uh, some core voltage. Just give it a little bit more power. That's that's really it. That that's how you basically troubleshoot when your rig or GPU when you get these types types of errors on the singular uh, GPUs. You just have to, in my opinion, just up the core voltage. Maybe you have to up the uh, core clock as well. Potentially, most case it just needs a bit more power. So core voltage may just may just do it okay so yeah it looks like it's potentially coming back up and okay guys so that's my 5700 radeon 7s and now my lastly i want to just touch on i didn't notice a big difference at all on my 6800 or my 6700 xts uh, these are not bios modded so but i'm getting 46 mega hash 46.5 on 102 watts and then 6800 is about 62.42 mega hash at 142 uh, so, oh, I just realized my core here is 1350. Hold on. If we go back to Team Red Miner, if we go back to the parameters, 6800 power save by lowering the core clock might not be worth the effect. Okay, so I don't know how much lower we can go. Okay, that I'll have to test. I'll test later. Uh, you guys can let me know if you got better results on your 6800 and even your 68700 XT. Uh, let me know. Let me know. All right, guys, I just want to end off now. The... I guess the efficiency right now that I've gotten with my 5700s, which is noticeably way better than what I was getting before. So about 100 watts and 120 at system total. But now it's knocked off a good, I'd say 20 watts on each of the GPUs, each of the 5700s. So looking at the hash per watt system or even the hash per watt GPU, you can see here the 5700 now is really, really efficient. Better than the A2000. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Better than the A2000, better than the A5000, better than the 3070s, uh, 3060 Ti, A4000s. These are all generally the same efficiency anyway. You can see here, hash per watt system, pretty much the same. But Radeon 7 is here. It's on par pretty much with the uh, 3070s types of efficiency. And as we go lower, we got 3090, 6800s, and 3080, you know, uh, so, on, so on and so forth. As, uh, yeah, just not as good as now. The 5700s are, I'm going to say, rain king. Look at that. 55 mega hash. That's, that's really good. And so looking at the, the resale prices of these 5700s or 5700 XTs right now, which maybe after this video, a lot of you guys may go out and buy this. But honestly, I don't know if I would. I know that 5700 Navi cards are great on mining other algorithms like... Uh, like Ravencoin, ProgPal variant coins, and they, they do run a lot cooler as well compared to the NVIDIA cards. Flux, it's okay. 5700s are okay, but not as good as NVIDIA cards. So you really have to really understand, you know, after Ethereum, the 5700s or 5700 XTs are probably not going to be as efficient as the NVIDIA cards for uh, mining the other coins, but now, mind you, uh, there should be good on ProgPal coins, but Equihash coins, it probably, the AMD cards won't do well on Equihash coins, but when it comes to ProgPal variant coins like Ravencoin, Fero, Ciro, those types of coins, I think the AMD cards will, will be awesome. Um, so you have to do your due diligence, do your research, and understand that AMD cards are going to be greater or efficient or pretty much on par with some of the NVIDIA cards out there after Ethereum, okay, in terms of efficiency. And so we have to understand that efficiency is pretty one of the biggest things a miner has to understand. And we've all been preaching it 
nonstop ever since, right? And, you know, as things become unprofitable, you want to make sure you have efficient GPUs. So that's one thing everyone should start understanding. But of course, if Team Red Miner comes out with more optimizations for their miners and for the Navi cards or uh, 6000 series cards, GPUs, AMD cards, then it's going to, this is, these cards for the price, depending on when you got them, are going to be utterly amazing. I got my 5700s here for about 250 bucks. And so to get this type of efficiency and getting 55 mega hash for a $250 GPU compared to an A2000 right now, you can get like for 500 bucks and 3070s, 500, 600 bucks. Man, depending when you buy these Navi cards last year or two years ago, you're just laughing. You're just laughing right now. Though assuming we all know, right? Again, Ethereum is moving away. From proof of stake anyways guys i'm rambling let me know your guys' thoughts let me know your guys' settings uh, maybe this will help some other people that have amd cards uh, mine are are quite finicky but gonna take some time to fine tune and get them down pat in terms of uh in terms of uh stability <laughs> but awesome stuff okay my friends let me know your thoughts i'll see you on the next video have a good one and peace out links down below all the links are down below